Shalom, this is Netanyahu from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the Blonde City Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways of hedges and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so I'm just going to get right into this lesson concerning the times that we're coming into here very soon. Whether people want to hear it or not, whether they want to forbear, you know, hear or forbear. All right. Because there's a lot of things that people in this world that are not taking account of. All right. They're not taking account of what's going on in, in the, the economy or what's happening um, concerning uh, the prices of the foods. Um, you know, this whole system that's being changed to a dig digital uh, digital currency. All right. And the Lord has spoken upon many things concerning that's what's going on. I'm just going briefly over just a few things that are going on concerning uh, prophecy. All right. Because there's so many things that are happening. The Lord said it's going to happen. But people yet, they ask so many questions. But yet, do they seek the counsel of the Lord? And that will be no. All right. So you're going to see here very soon, shortly, when these um, plagues... Uh, concerning the famine, which is the lack of bread and water, food, right? Uh, pestilences, which is uh, viruses, newly created viruses, deadly viruses, right? And uh, the uh, the sword, which is the modern day weapon today, and more. All right, the Lord is a is a, a power, not to take lightly, okay? And that goes for all, including myself. Don't just think because I speak these words that I'm out of the, the woods yet, you know. And um, it's a very fearful thing to be in the hands of the Most High. Okay. It's better to be corrected by men than the Heavenly Father himself. Okay. So, no further ado. I'm just going to get right into it. Yahweh Lord willing, it's going to be edifying. All right, so this is Second Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. Okay? So that is talking about there's going to be a point in time where you're going to see, you're going to hear, where you're going to see, what you're going to see, thousands of people dying before your eyes. You're going to see it on news. You're going to hear a lot about it. Okay? You're going to hear, all right, of uh, a whole system collapsing, no hope, and people dying left and right. Okay? And the way of truth shall be hidden. Because... When these things occur, the only thing that, you know, we're going to say is that we told you so. Because you didn't want to take heed, man. All right. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. But of hearing the words of the Lord. So there's going to be a time where you're not going to hear us speaking anymore. Because these prophecies are going to speak for themselves. Alright. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Just to get straight to the point. It says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And these visions is talking about these prophecies. They are set for an appointed time. But at the end they shall speak and not lie. Right? Because when these prophecies speak, which they're happening right now, soon it's going to be all, you know, pretty much all of them coming in one after another. And then you're going to know there was a true living power. Then you're going to know. Right? And not lie. Right? Because the Heavenly Father is faithful true, faithful and true. His words do not go out void like some men count. Okay? Though it tarry, though it's taken some time, right? Wait for it. And that, that is exactly what we ought to do. We're not in the time of uh, of, of um, having fun. We're not in the time 
the partying and the bullshitting. We're not in a time of rest. Okay, we're in a time of war. We're in a time of 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 stress, anguish, of of tribulation, of destruction. We in a time where soon how everybody is just carrying on in this world is going to be taken away. Right? Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Because when it do happen, it's going to be one and after another. And it's not going to wait for no man. Right? So as it says here, Amos 8 and 11, which I'm going to read verse 12 now. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it, right? Because when the time of the famine of the word comes, okay, people are going to be cheering. They're going to be like, yes, yeah, great. We got them off the internet. We got them off the streets. You know, that's the time when you should be afraid, right? But what will make these people go to and fro in the earth, sea to sea, north to the east, to look for the word of the Lord? What will make that happen? Is when is when when people start dying, right? It's when people start to die. This is Proverbs, chapter one, and I'm gonna start on verse twenty-five, I believe. Right, verse twenty-five. But ye have not at not uh, it's like him. But ye have set at not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. So you didn't want to take correction. You didn't want to listen. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Because all this time that you was scoffing, talking shit, laughing at us, making fun of us, that those verses are going to be revo uh, re reversed. And how is the Heavenly Father going to laugh at you? By his men. Okay? You laugh now, but you're going to cry later. We suffer, we mourn, we cry now. Okay? But at the end, we're going to laugh. Why? Because we're going to stand uh, in confidence in the Heavenly Father, how about Shemel Shai? Right? Because it says here, um, verse 27, when, you, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Right? Then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Okay? They didn't choose that. They chose to fear man. They didn't take counsel of the Heavenly Father. They took counsel of these damn Edomites. Okay? Now going back in the second Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come that that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden, right? The famine of the word, man. The famine of the word. When the destruction comes, then you're going to be looking for the Lord, man. But it's going to be too late. And the land shall be barren of faith, right? Because what you, you believed in was the so-called black power. Uh, uh, all these different philosophies, uh, what is it, uh, misindependent, right? All these uh, um, prep, I'm a prepper, you know, all these things, right? That's what you have faith in. You know, we have to stick together, power in the people, right? That's what, that's what you have faith in, right? This is Luke. Let me see. I think it was 8 and 18. Let me see. No, I think it was 18 and 8. Let me see if I can find it. This is Luke chapter 18, verse 8. I tell you that I... He, it's like it. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, right? Because the Lord is, is uh, speeding up the times. Otherwise, there'd be no flesh to be saved. It's coming fast. The Lord cometh, man. All right? Because... What you don't realize, the times are being shortened for a very good reason. All right, we're at the end of it. We're in the last few seconds. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And that's going to be no, because they took counsel, but not of the Lord, man. This is Isaiah chapter 30, 
verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. You see? And that is iniquity. So our people, they don't take counsel. They're rebellious as hell, man. The more the more you want them to, uh, to repent, to, the more they fight back. Our people are sick, man. And the only cure is death, man. Rather you like it or not. We don't deal with your emotions. We deal with the scriptures. We apply the scriptures. We apply wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Because the times that we're coming into, that is going to be the strength of our salvation. Okay? Not your emotions. Going back into 2 Ezra chapter 5, verse Verse 2, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. You see, because why? Because they take counsel of these damn devils, man. Okay? Giving heed to seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, mad crazy philosophies out there. Right? This, this whole earth is in mass confusion. And that's why evils are growing rapidly. Right, but, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now, now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago, because we in the worst times that this earth has ever seen before, man. And the land that thou seest now, to have root, this wicked, this wicked generation, this wicked society, this wicked kingdom, queendom, right, that has taken place, shall thou see wasted suddenly. Right, because same things with what Noah was doing, we are doing today, man. We are we are ushering in the new kingdom of Yasharela, the kingdom of the Most High, where righteousness dwelleth upon the earth. See, this earth is going to be destroyed. All of America, which is known as Babylon in the scriptures, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by fire, thus saith the Bible. But yet and different parts of this earth. And there's many other judge, judgments that are going to take place that it's going to destroy many people with famine, the sword, the modern day weapon, and the pestilence, teeth of wild beasts, apparitions, the the, the, the behemoth. You got, uh, what is it? You know, they, they say Godzilla, right? That's the Leviathan. There's many things, newly created beasts, Many things that are coming upon this earth that is going to be terrifying. This is going to be the ultimate thriller movie. Most most perfect horror movie you could ever describe. There's going to be many stories that are going to be taking place in the kingdom to hear of. The, the, of the judgment that is going to happen here on this earth. Okay? On this side. Um... Uh, so lucky it was uh, 24. So this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, and it reads, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Right? Because the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, man. And only true and living power is going uh, uh, to tell our Lord when it's time to go. He's going to give the green light. He's the one that knows. And his true name, our Heavenly Father, his true name is Yahweh. He exists. He's to be. Okay? He's the only one that knows when it's going to take place. Because he's going to be the one. Because all these prophecies are set for an appointed time. And our powers is perfect. He is perfection. You have no idea. <laughs> You 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 can you can't even grasp the knowledge of what he's that he has, man. You you can't even you can't even hold it within your uh, vessel, man. <laughs> Let alone with your simple ass thinking that you know something. That's why it is, it is very important to stay humble, okay. Stay humble and be patient, man. Right. But as the days of Noah were like. 
like you know back in in the time of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, right? Because in the time of Noah, no one knew when when the Lord was going to make it rain. Noah didn't know. None, nobody knew. Back in those times, it wasn't raining. You know, I believe it was in Genesis chapter two or in three. I think it was in two. It would. It wasn't done by rain. It was by dew. The dew was what watered the earth, not rain. Now we are telling you that the, the Lord is going to rain fire upon his earth. People laugh, mock. Oh, that's going to happen. Simple. The Lord has created these smiths to, cre to, to, to create the, the waster. To waste. Which is the ICBM missiles. That's what's going to rain fire upon his earth. You know, and people will be like, how is that possible? Simple. If you would go and, 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 and research this stuff, you know, okay, uh, like Russia, they got a, they call it the Satan II. It's the ICBM missile with many warheads within it that can destroy whole France. One ICBM missile can destroy all of France or the whole Texas. Okay, and 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 that that's in itself. They show you that they have that power and that capability. But what 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 about behind closed doors? Right? They say that the, this country has this amount of missiles and this country has this amount of missiles, but they ain't telling you or describing how many missiles because they're not going to do that. Why? Because we're in a time of war. That is why they're creating these ICBM missiles. India got it. Pakistan got it. China got it. Europe got it. America got it. North Korea got it. All right? I'm pretty sure other countries got it too, but they ain't saying nothing. Okay? All these all these countries got ICBM missiles. They're not there to be made to, to get dust on it because this war that is coming upon this earth is, is not going to be a war that has been fought like before. Okay? So it says here, but as the days of Noah were, so, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. That is exactly what we see going on today. I was just walking down the street and I see these uh, Turkish couple, you know, just got married. Flashy. Bitch got a whole shitload of makeup on her face with the wedding dress. The dude looking clean as hell, right? Thinking that this is this is going to be the, the rest of it. The, the, man, they all are bound for destruction, man. They have no idea what's coming, right? Marrying and giving a marriage, right? Party and bullshit, right? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came, you see, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. Okay, so just like how it was then is going to happen again, man. This is Romans 15 and 4. I have to pull this again. It says right here, and it reads, For whatsoever things were written a far time were written for our learning. History. History is there to teach us something, man. It's very important to understand the, the, the past in order to go and understand where we're going with this. Okay? That we, actually, you know where you come from. If you don't know where you come from, you don't even know where you're going. You're just, aim, you're just aiming aimlessly into this world without guidance or direction. You're going to end up doing the same shit over and over, right? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. And that's exactly what we hope for, is what? Salvation, man. Because this instruction is coming. And it's going to come when no man expect it. Right? That's why it says the land shall be... The, the people... Well, let me grab it real quick before I butcher it. Uh, 2 Ezra chapter 5. I think it was a verse 3. And it reads... In the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. You see? So they're going to be wasted suddenly, man. Um, What was that scripture I was going to get? Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1, and it reads, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, Ye have no need to that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief 
in a night. You see? So the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. That is why we have to continue to watch and be on our watch and be on that tower to, to warn the people, man. Okay? And not only that, for those that don't preach, that don't teach, but do believe in sincerity, keep an eye out, man. Keep getting, keep getting this uh, good food, man. You know? Keep studying, reading, and, 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 and stay in the spirit. Very important, man. For when they shall say, peace and safety, right? That's the whole stage being set. Pressure from above, pressure from below, order out of chaos. And this is exactly what these so-called white people are going to do. They're going to cut off people from food. They're going to have the whole economy collapse so that way it can't function. People are going to lose their jobs. People are going to lose their homes. People are going to be starving, right? And they're going to come with a solution. And that solution is for you to take the MOTB. Right? Because they're going to say, oh, we have a solution, right? Peace and safety, right? Then, then sudden destruction come, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. Because that's when the MyCBM missiles are going to be shot. Why? Because when they're going to make it mandatory for you to take the MOTB, as it talks about in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, okay? That's when that's when the Heavenly Father is going to stop, put a stop to all of this, man. All right? So, hey, just understand, man, you know, these things are going to happen here very soon. Very important to watch and pray that you don't fall into temptation. Take heed to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai and be instant in prayer, man. We need to pray and fast more than ever. And that's also including myself. Pray without ceasing. Pray that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai has mercy upon us and hide us in the time of his wrath. Pray that the Lord would guide us on to salvation. Bless us with a spirit of strength to be able to endure all the way to the end that we may be saved, man. All right? So, Yahweh desire this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash, Double Honor, City Apostles, the others of Great Millstone, that teach you real well, among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad on the four winds of earth, out there in the highways of hedges, and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.